When you first start writing cases, it can be pretty daunting. There's a lot of value in the experience of writing cases. So one of my first suggestions for anybody, it's something that I followed very much, was to get a mentor. That can be someone within your organization, that can be someone from another uh, school, uh, it can be someone who's just a case that you really respect. And you sit there and say, this is a great case. And that's what I did, is I went and said, this is a great case. And I wrote the person who had done that case and sort of said, can we talk for a little while on how you write cases? Because I want to write cases like you do. And that, that person's become a lifelong, actually now friend through that process. Um, and, and one of the things that really resonates, that's always been very important to me from that interaction of having that mentor, was he sort of showed me and taught me, you really have to have a story in the case. The case is not just a 20 page listing of facts and figures. It has to have an element that flows, that draws students into really putting themselves in the shoes of the decision maker. And so there's an element there where you have to build uh, not just sort of dramatic tension, but sort of that idea of there really is a decision here and it's not simple. And you have to make a student understand that the decisions we're trying to help them work through in cases aren't just easy. They're real decisions that weigh off issues that are not just totally cut and dry. And so the, the crafting of the story and the really making students feel like they're the decision maker, that's to me one of the essential things. And the third one is maybe a little bit more pragmatic and maybe goes back to my project management engineering type days, is you have to manage writing the case as a project. You, you set a one page sort of outline of here's my deliverables, here's what I need, here's what it's gonna look like, get people to agree to that project, almost the prototype, then move to the next stage where you start to fill out the one page outline and it turns into more of a 10 page outline. Sometimes that contracts a little bit, sometimes that expands, but that's not a bad goal. You want to involve the company in your case writing process. I find that makes it go a lot smoother and almost guarantees sign off. I've never not had a case signed off. I think that's because we've always been able to work with that through that iteration process as we go.